One foot in Indian Peaks, one foot in Rocky Mountain National Park. I'm not liking all those clouds. How many claps of thunder does it take to prove to you that you made the right decision to get off the mountain? None. If you see it coming, run. Good morning. Once again out here in the Indian Peaks Wilderness. Yeah, it's kind of our playground. We're heading up to St. Brain Mountain this morning. Kind of from the lower Buchanan Pass uh, trailhead there at Camp Dick. A little more uh, unconventional on this route. But, nonetheless, a fun one. It's a little longer. And I'd just been walking in on the old 4x4 road. And I heard they'd got a lot of rain up here lately, but uh, this is more reminiscent of the spring runoff when the snow melts. Uh, yeah, a lot of pools of water, a lot of water running on the trail itself. And now I find myself in a little pickle. There's no way around this one. So we're going to have to try to find one. <laughs> uh, yeah, here we go. Well then, certainly didn't see that coming. the uh, sketchy wet frosty logs Let's see on the other side it's still dry Ford Bronco or a Jeep. <laughs> this probably would have been a little shorter of a trip. Nonetheless, that was pretty cool. So now we're getting back over to trail proper. Gonna head over to the St. Brain Mountain Trail, half a mile from here. And this is where we can cross the bridge here connect back in so I gotta ask myself would I take the four-wheel drive road again or would I just hike the normal lower Buchanan Pass trail from Camp Dick answer to that is pretty easy take the trail from Camp Dick if you're on foot there's just a lot of uh, water obstacles uh, the road itself is just Really rough, boulder laden, rocky. Uh, you know, a lot of the water was probably attributed to uh, the heavy rains they've been having in here a lot lately, but needless to say, I think trail proper would have been uh, a lot easier to do. 
But we're a half mile from St. Vrain uh, cutoff. And I think it's time to take a little break, slug down some water, and uh, filter some more so we have it uh, for up on the mountain because I'm not too sure about the water sources up there. Usually not a lot this time of year. It's almost comical. I was semi complaining about being on that road with all the water obstacles. <laughs> Here I am back on a single track, hiking through this overgrown area, and everything is just saturated and wet. Got a lot of storms in the area lately. My legs and my shoes, everything's just wet now. All right. So I hit the trail split and now it's going to be quite the slog uphill. <laughs> so, time to start sucking some air and see what this trail is all about. I mean, we've been up to Mount St. Vrain before so the summit isn't new to us. What is new is this route. Never came this way before so it should be interesting. The opposite side that uh, we've done before, in and of itself, is definitely a slog uphill, so you can only anticipate this will be as well. Alright, I'll save you the heavy breathing and stop every now and again and let you see where we're at as we do the climb. Uh, as expected, this is uh, quite an aggressive uphill. The difference between this side and the other side is this one seems to have some switchbacks. So that's uh, definitely helpful, but it's aggressive nonetheless. Yeah, we got a, a little bit further to climb. <laughs> Whoa. It's all good. So far, so good. Kind of been in and out of the forest here. A lot of boulders and rock fields. And, and uh, of course, off to my right, just all these really great views through the trees. Ooh, that's nice. Definitely picking up some more commanding views on this side, there's no doubt. <laughs> You know, not only can I see the trail I came in on down there in the just a small little clearing in the trees there if you go up I can start to see the Buchanan Pass trail that uh, I did to uh, do the Pawnee Buchanan Pass loop and it goes right up through there to the right of the sawtooth right in between that notch and that's a really cool trail too, so I highly recommend that one. All right, let's keep moving on. Climb, climb, climb. Oh man, what a climb. We're uh, slowly but surely getting there now. Trees are thinning out, getting a lot smaller, seeing a lot more uh, blue sky through those trees. And 
it seems like the contour of the land is starting to level out a little bit as we uh, near the base of Mount St. Brain and the top of this climb to the uh, ridge. That'll take us over to St. Brain. Woo! Definitely uh, kicking my butt. St. Brain has always been known for its hard climbs. Never been on this side, so it uh, is equally as tough. <laughs> Woo! Winded. Beautiful day so far, though. Doing well. Taking a lot of little breaks coming up. And we'll get out of these trees and take a little snack break. Fuel up and uh, take a look at St. Vrain and if we can summit, we shall see. Yeah, the terrain leveled off. But, man, just been uh, meandering through all these blowdowns. It slows you down, a lot of climbing up and over. Woo! This is uh, by and far been a pretty good workout. And the blowdowns just keep continuing. Add into the fact that this is uh, not a well-traveled trail. So, not all that defined. It keeps coming and going. Uh, <laughs> this has uh, been pretty tiresome in and of itself. Oh boy, more blowdowns. We'll see if we get there or... If we have enough left in the tank when we get there to summit, this is tough going. Finally opening up. And went through a pretty nasty section back there. I actually took a little spill. <laughs> I do remember how to speak French. No doubt about it. Ow, that, uh, that was no fun. I'm starting to have doubts about this side of the trail <laughs> thinking maybe uh, the other side would uh, be a lot better I mean, it's shorter it's just as steep but besides the views that uh, they had coming up from the Buchanan trail they really tapered off after that and you just kind of go across a, a heavily wooded area so I don't know I'm 50 50 on this one not all trails are amazing and there's amazing points to this trail for sure, but uh, been kind of a pain in the butt, <laughs> to say the least. Let's see where we get to here. Whew. Wow, that was uh. A lot harder than I anticipated. All those blowdowns just really made it slow going. Hard route finding. A couple of good falls in there. It's beautiful up here. But man, I'm drained. It took a lot longer than it was supposed to. That's Meadow Mountain over there. Just through that saddle over there, you should be able to see the great basin of Rocky Mountain National Park. But uh, I tell you what, I don't think I got anything left in the tank for this mountain. It's a lot later than it should be. And there are some clouds. I just can't see uh, what it looks like on the other side. That would be the most important part. A little walking around here and see what we can see. Make a final decision. Well, we made it about halfway up. Trying to get to a vantage point where we can see the weather that's coming in and whether or not this is feasible yes all the rocky mountain national park long's peak it's uh, just a gorgeous view but already 
You can see the clouds off to the west there. Not liking that. It's a slim chance today, but it's also a slim chance you'll survive a lightning strike. <laughs> so we're gonna go over here to the borderline of Rocky Mountain National Park and the Indian Peaks Wilderness and probably head on back down. All right, one foot in Indian Peaks, one foot in Rocky Mountain National Park on the border. And these uh, signs just follow straight up to the summit there. They're spaced about uh, oh, 20, 30 yards apart. And this mountain is in both places. But I'm not liking all those clouds. I planned on being here about an hour earlier, which probably would have given us time to summit, but not now. And I'm okay with that. This has been a, a heck of a hike. Not sorry I went up the trail. Uh, not a big fan of it. But at least I know what it is now. And you don't have to sit there and think... So what is that trail like? Well, now I know. So we're gonna head on back down, get below tree line, try to keep those clouds behind us. And hopefully they won't do anything, but up in the mountains, exposed above tree line, that's not good odds when you see the clouds building like that. So live to hike another day. This is no place for a human if there's lightning. So, all in all, good hike. Very strenuous. Uh, kind of bummed I didn't get up here earlier to summit. But uh, you know, coming up out of the valley, all those blowdowns, I tell you what, it just took a lot of extra time. So, it's all good. We've been up on St. Vrain before. Uh, if I had to recommend the direction to go, I'd say come from the Meadow Mountain side. It's shorter. Uh, you get as much of a workout. But, uh, you know, this other side, is, it's just less travel. The trail's not that well blazed. you got a lot of blowdowns in there. It's just a really hard, hard hike. Uh, if you don't want a summit, but you want a nice trail, yeah, sure. It's uh, got a lot of great features. A lot of beautiful views uh, coming up out of the valley for sure. Uh, you don't get those on the Meadow Mountainside at all. But if you do want a summit, uh, you know, if that's the goal, definitely come up Meadow Mountainside. It's, it's a shorter trail and will take less time. But all in all, another good day on trail. I'll take all the good and the bad. Just love being out here. Felt really good to get off that ridge and all the switchbacks because that was a vicarious place to be with all these clouds building around here. But uh, you know, I feel a lot better being down here. Not that we're uh, out of the woods yet, but we are back down to Buchanan Trail proper. Probably a good five miles to go. Be all right. I'm just sitting here refueling. Made some coffee, a little piece of chocolate, got some peanut butter pretzels, just enough to drive it all the way back to the trailhead. Yeah. Let's go ahead and start walking at a little bit of a quicker pace.
Now we're playing the is that thunder or an airplane game? So I go 50-50 on that right now. <laughs> Some have been airplanes. Some not airplanes. But we're kind of picking up the pace a little here. Yeah, obviously going to take Buchanan Pass Trail back to Camp Dick. I don't even want to fool with that road again. <laughs> You're in a hurry. You take the path of least resistance. And that would be the Buchanan Pass Trail. Well, here comes the rain. We're not going to outrun that. Already heard uh, a couple of really good claps of thunder. So, how many claps of thunder does it take to prove to you that you made the right decision to get off the mountain? None. If you see it coming, run. So, right now we're just trying to get out of the danger zone. I don't mind the rain. But, uh, well, lightning can be something else out here. I spy a hint of fall color in those aspens. Just a little. It's on the way. Alright. Looks like this one just kind of slid to the south. So uh, we escaped the worst of it. Definitely rumbling away there for a while. Rain was coming and going. Looks like we're in the clear. Although it uh, does look rather cloudy in front of us. So it'll probably keep moving off. So goes hiking in the wilderness. Okay. Full circle back to the trailhead.